Good day, our lesson for today is Multiplies decimal numbers mentally by power of 10 And welcome to my channel This is the So we have 12 times 10 So that is equals to Say so yes, that is 120 24 times 100 That is 2,469 times 1,000 That is 69,000 you have eight hundreds multiplied by one hundred. The result is eight. You have fifty-eight multiplied by ten thousand. Again, fifty-eight multiplied by ten thousand. The answer is five hundred eighty thousand. And the last one, you have thirty-four hundreds multiplied by one thousand. So you have. 340 Okay, now for our review How do you multiply mixed decimal by mixed decimals with hundreds? How do you multiply? Of course, we multiply it by st Starting from right to left. So if it is 200 so multiply the hundreds place first then hundreds by Tens, and then tens by hundreds, then tens by tens. Okay, now let's say you have Catherine, a businesswoman, went to a bookstore to look for the cheapest pen, which costs three pesos and fifty cents. If she will buy ten pieces of it. How much will she pay for it? Again, if she will buy 10 pieces of it for 3 pesos and 50 centavos, how much uh, will she pay to the cashier? So that is 35 pesos. How about if she'll buy 100 pieces? Yes. She will pay 350 pesos. How about if it is 1,000? So, if it is 1,000 pieces, so Catherine will pay uh, 3,500 pesos. Okay, now, uh, let's try to study the table below. So you have, of course, you have the table, and then you have the number, and your number is you have the four tenths multiplied by ten. So that is equals to four. If you will notice that this is read as four tenths, and then multiply by ten, that will become a whole number as. 10. How about if you multiply that to 100? So, 4 tenths multiplied by 100 that is equals to 40. And then to 1000. So, that will become 400. How about if you have the 26 hundredths? Multiply by 10. So that is equals to 2 and 6 tenths. Then multiply by 100. The 26 hundreds will become 26. And then it will multiply by 1000. The 26 hundreds will become 260. How about the 
439,000. If you will multiply that to 10. So that will become 4 and 39 hundredths. And then if multiplied by 100, that will become 43 and 9 tenths. And by multiply by 1000, so that will become 439. And 2 and 24 hundredths multiply by 10, that will become okay, so that will become 22 and 4 tenths and then multiply by 100, that will become 224 and then if we, if we multiply that by 1000, that will become 2240 so if you will notice we just move the decimal point from left to right here from left to right left to right left to right so since there is only one zero here just move it once since the, there are two zero here move it twice so one two and then three zero move it three times so one two three that's why it becomes 400 the same as the other given number so we just move the decimal point once since the zero is one so move it once two zero move it twice one two so that is 43 and then 4000 that is three times so that is one two three so that becomes 439 and you have the 2.24 so this is on the hundred place of four so move it uh, once for the 10 so that's why that is 220 uh, 22 and 4 tens and then 200 that is 224 for the thousand that is 2240 okay another example so let's say you have 634 thousand multiply by 10 thousand so that is equals to n so that is 634 thousand multiply by one ha, wa, uh, ten thousand so that is equals to of course we have to multiply four by zero and four times zero is zero four times zero is zero four times zero is zero then four times zero is zero and then you have 4 times 1 is 4. Again, uh, in the properties of multiplication, uh, 0 is a 0 property. Any number multiplied by 0, the result is 0. Whereas for the identity, any number multiplied by 1, the result is the number itself. So now, so since we done already on the thousand place, so let us move to the hundredths place. So that is 3 times 0 is 0. Okay, now, if you're going to multiply 3 by 0, by 0, by 0, that will become 0 and 0 and 0. So, just copy the remaining three zero. So you have one, two, three. And then three times one is three. So same as on six times zero. So six times zero is 
zero and then let's copy again the remaining three zeros so since time is six times zero is zero times six times zero is zero and see so that will become add the three zeros so one two and three and then you have six six times three so six times three is six and then add so that is equals to bring down zero zero and then zero 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 when you add zero 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 and then you have four plus zero plus zero is four and then three plus zero is three and then bring down six okay now let's analyze and let's try to find out the number of decimal places on both factors so in high in 10,000 there is no decimal point whereas on the other factor so there are three decimal places so we have one two three so therefore the decimal uh, points on the product is located on the right side of zero and then from the right side of zero we're going to count three times so so you have one two three and then to the product so since we counted three times so we have to move the decimal point imaginary from right to left three times one two and three and then put in the decimal point so therefore our answer now is 6340 okay next this time you're going to complete the table you have the decimal number you have the 5.6 multiply and 4.32 634 and then you have 31.8 and 25.61 so our multiplier are as follows so you have the the 10 the 100 and the 1000 now if you will notice that <clears throat> the decimal point is located here so since this is times 10 so we have to move the decimal point one to the right so that will become 56 so since there are two zero so we are going to move the decimal point two times to the right so that will be uh, no no the the four point at the first so once and then you have the six hundred thirty four we have to move it once the 31.8 move it once again and the 25.61 move it once okay now go back again to 56 or 5.6 this is our reference so move it twice so that will become 560 and then for uh, 4.32 move it twice so that will become 432 and then for 634,000 move it twice so you have 63.4 and then for the 31 move it twice so that will become 3180 so since we move it already once here that's why it becomes 318 so just move it once 
again so 1 so that is 3180 and this one is also uh, become 2561 so this time we're going to move the decimal point three times to the right because there are three zero one two three so that will become the five thousand six hundred don't ever uh, uh, confuse okay so because see this is uh, this this is always your reference move it three times so you have one two three that's why this becomes five thousand six hundred so same as the 4.32 that will become uh, so the decimal point is here a while, a while ago so move one two three that's why it becomes like that now the six point six three four move three times that's it the thirty one point eight so move it thrice so and then even the twenty five point sixty one move it thrice take note on the zero in multiplying by power of ten So, how do we multiply mentally decimal by ten hundred and thousands? Of course, you have to move the decimal point. Okay, so in multiplying decimal by ten hundred and thousand. So, simply move the decimal point of the number as many places to the right as the number of zeros in the power of 10. Don't ever forget that it's simply moving the decimal point of the number as many places to the right as the number of zeros in the power of 10. And we are adding zero or zeros if necessary. And for your assignment, you have to solve it. Solve for n. So you have, okay, so you have the 200 multiplied by 400. 800 multiply by uh, 8000 by 20 300 by 6 the decimal point is located here this is uh, 9 10,000 times 30 and then you have the decimal point again is here so this is 23 10,000 times 100 and that's it okay thank you for watching the video again don't forget to click the subscription button and hit the notification Mabuhay.